Deputy Chair. Banking is an essential service. Like most other essential services in Australia, we have both a private and public uh, sector. We have private and public schools. We have private and public hospitals. So I see no reason why we shouldn't have a public bank. I might like to point out that under the Robert Menzies government, they were quite happy with the fact that we had a public bank. There was never any need to sell off the CBA or the Commonwealth Bank in 1992. Uh, over the three tranches, it was sold for $8 billion. And yet today, it makes $10 billion a year annually. We have got a serious crisis in this country whereby people cannot get access to proper banking services, especially in the regions, but we are seeing more and more branches closing in outer metropolitan areas as well. I believe that a public bank can fill the gap left by the private banks who are failing to provide these services. They can provide face-to-face -face, uh, services in terms of cash, credit card and lending. It's very important that we increase the range of products available to people. One of the things that I think I, I don't believe that competition uh, in the banking sector in Australia is robust. And I'll give you one example. In the US and the United States, you can get a home loan for up to 30 years. Yet here in Australia, the longest you can get a home loan for, uh, in, in most cases, is five years. Uh, we have people who are lying awake at night. Uh, wondering about you know, whether or not the RBA is going to raise interest rates and put their nose to the grindstone even more. And we're seeing we, what we will see over the next six months uh, is a mortgage cliff where a lot of people, and I think I forget the figures quoted yesterday in the Australian, but billions, tens of billions of dollars are going to be uh, come off fixed rate interest rate loans and then go on to variable rates at about 3 per cent higher. Uh, and that is going to put a lot of Australians under pressure. So I think that a public bank, one of the things that a public bank could do is offer much longer fixed term loans at, say, between 10, 15 or 25 years to give our hardworking Australians comfort in the fact that they know what their mortgage rates will be set at for a long time into the future. But it's not just that, they, it's not just that product that needs to be offered. One of the reasons why I ran for parliament was because of my annoyance in the Tax Act of a section called the Public Offer Test, which basically says that if you're a foreign bank and you lend money into Australia, the interest that we pay offshore isn't taxed. So what I want to know is, is why we can't have a bank in Australia that offers a product to retirees or first home buyers who can put their money into a bank account and they are offered tax-free interest and fees. I think this would be a much more efficient way of encouraging people to save rather than superannuation, which forces people to give their money to someone that they've never met and there's no guarantee that they're going to get that money back when they're 65. And for that, for that cost, that superannuation cost, the Productivity Commission uh, has said that costs $30 billion a year. So why not offer a service to Australians where they can get interest and tax-free uh, bank account uh, interest on a bank account that encourages them to save uh, both for their home loans or for their homes and for retirement. The other thing that this bank could do is actually offer insurance services. The biggest cost of insurance today is the cost of reinsurance that we have to pay uh, offshore, and that, that comes in at about 40 to 50 per cent of the insurance cost. And I don't know about you, uh, but my insurance bills lately have been coming in. At, at, at as high as a 30 per cent increase from the prior year. Yet again, since we privatised uh, the state government insurance offices, we have not seen increased competition. We have actually seen more gouging in the insurance sector. It is hurting home buyers. It is hurting people who run businesses. It is hurting community groups like the show societies who are struggling to find insurance. Why can't the federal government just offer reinsurance or reinsure itself and we go back to having a national government insurance office that can offer insurance in these branches along with home loans and along with face-to-face -face services. It is not good enough for the banks to be closing uh, in the regions. They have a social licence. They are skimming $7 billion a year on the term funding facility as a result of the GFC, uh, as a result of COVID, sorry, and they were bailed out in the GFC. 
Ultimately, the taxpayer underwrites these banks, so I don't see any reason why we can't have a public bank to make sure Thank we keep you, these Senator guys honest.